has a special talent in which they can believe. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Children's Corner. I'm Savannah. I'm Katie. I'm JJ. We hope you have fun today. We're going to have fun. Hi, I'm Ms. Zoe and so glad you're here today with us at Port Discovery and the Children's Corner. The Children's Corner does so many wonderful things. Let's go and see! Well, this wouldn't be an adventure if we didn't have some kind of wildlife on the show. These look like llamas, but they're not. They're actually close cousins to the llama. As you can see, we're in, unfortunately, kind of a burned out area. But these folks seem to be a little, not necessarily on the friendly side, but at least they're not afraid of me. They see some green grass, they're a little hungry. So that's what they're doing. So these are not llamas, but they are close cousins. We have giraffe drink water. Oh, that's that, that is beautiful. Huh? Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I might get them drinking somewhere. Good, he That's showed us the other day. It was awesome. That's your Nile crocodile. Nile. Nile is the only species we got around the area, actually. Okay. So this is approximately maybe two and a half meters of 2.2. They can get up to six meters for a fully grown reptile. They can live up to a hundred years. Yeah. <coughs> so the moment back into the bush, they'll come back. wonderful things on the children's corner. I have such fun here and I hope you do too. We do shakers and we do songs and we have Hakeem and Oscar and all kinds of things from the zoo and we hope you join us every week on the children's corner. We're going to take a break now on the children's corner and we'll be right back. Simon says, touch your ear. 
touch your nose. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see one champion. One champion. We have, we have two champions. Jeremy and um, and Danielle. Jeremy and Danielle are ready to find them. Jeremy and Danielle are ready for this is the rapid, this is the rapid session. Ready? Okay. Simon says, wave your arm. Simon says, touch your hip. Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, touch your head. Touch your nose. Jeremy, you touched your nose, you're out. You're out! <laughs> Daniel's the winner! Yay! Yeah, yeah. Oh, Zion, you were winning all the time, right, Zion? <laughs> the rules change as Zion is playing this game. <laughs> so, since she made the rules, Zion wins. Okay, all right. All right, okay, we're going to play another my good friend Jack. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend Jack in the Box. Hi boys and girls. Hi, I'm Jack. Hey Red Baron, what's going on with Captain Baltimore? Captain Baltimore? I don't know what is going on with Captain Baltimore. Perhaps we should see. I want to go see Captain Baltimore. Come on boys and girls, don't you want to go see Captain Baltimore? Kids, this is Captain Baltimore here, and I'm on the USS Constellation, one of my wonderful ships. We invite you to take a tour. It's so fantastic down here. Come and see my captain's quarters where I eat with my crew. Hey, we're on the crew here, right? Hey, me mateys. This is the captain's stateroom. As you can see, that's my other suit, and this is my bed. I hit my head up against the wall when the ship is sailing, but, you know, that's why I kind of got up a headache, you know? And, uh, this is where I do all my, my, my songs, my jokes, and this is the room where me and all of my crew eat, and we also have meetings here, so I tell my crew what to do when they're on the deck, and that's about it. I'm going to go grab a snack right now. Don't, don't go away. We got biscuits. We got beans. We got molasses. Vinegar. Well, you can check out the USS Constellation, the Chesapeake, and the Torbo. Check out all the vessels that are anchored in the beautiful downtown harbor. 16 men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Word, word, word. Oh, yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho. All right, me hearties, that's it for today. And thank you for tuning in to the Captain Baltimore show. But I gotta watch out for this whale again. So until next time, me hearties, think right and don't fight. Arr. It's the Captain Baltimore's way. 
Crikey, I've got this alligator by the... Uh, you know, boys and girls, I like all sorts of animals. But my favorite is the alligator. Like Alibaba, the alligator here. But the only place around here you can see an alligator that's not stuffed like him is at the zoo. We should go there right now. In my room, in my room, I got a zoo. In my room, just like that. All right, let's sing.
Join us next time on Roots and Six Cafe. so many wonderful things on the Children's Corner. We hope you join us every week because we want you to be with us. We're going to take a break now. We'll be right back. Hey boys and girls, here I am again with my good friend Jack. Hi Red Baron. Hi boys and girls. I really like being on this show. Red Baron, I want to bring you and the boys and girls along with me to the Enoch Pratt Library. We're going to go see Mother Goose on the Loose. That sounds fun. Okay, let's You know what? We got loose with Mother Goose. Oh, we, we got, got loose just now. now. Hey, we got loose with Mother Goose and we told everybody in town. Yeah. Say it again. We got loose with Mother Goose. Oh, they got loose right now. Hey, we got loose with Mother Goose and we told everybody in town. Hey. Hi, boys and girls. Here I am again with my good friend Jack. So, Jack, what are we going to be doing today? I don't know. I have so much fun on your show. We do so many things. But I wonder what Miss Zoe's doing. I like Miss Zoe. She's nice. She is nice. We should go see what she's doing right now. Okay, Red Baron, let's go. Come on, boys and girls, let's go.
Hi, do you know who I am? I'm Miss Zoe. We're here today at the Children's Quarter. So glad you could join us. We'll be right back on the Children's Quarter. Hi, boys and girls. Here I am again with my good friend Jack. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Red Bear. So, Jack, what do you want to do today? Oh, I, I really want to find out what's going on with Rowena. You know, Rowena the rag doll. I love Rowena. I do too. Can we go see now? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody else out there, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy New Year, happy meal, whatever you're into, we're down with that. <laughs> hey, my name uh, John Carrington, and this here is Rowena. Hi, Rowena. She's a rag doll. Hi, Rowena. Okay, she can't talk, okay. And, and, and who are you? Ellie. That's Ellie. Say your name, Ellie. Ellie. I think that's right. Okay, all right. And who are you? Okay, what can Rowena do? Well, Rowena, Rowena likes to dance. She does? Okay, let me ask Rowena. Rowena, what do you want to do? I would like to dance. How about we all dance? Yeah. yeah. What song? Go ahead. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you having a good time? I'm having a very good time. Now the Children's Corner is a wonderful place to come. We do so many different things. You never know where we'll be or who we are. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the Children's Corner. Who knows where milk comes from? The refrigerator. Before that. The grocery store. Why don't we visit a farm and see where milk really comes from? Yeah, yeah. It's always a good idea to get down to the root of things. Let me try. My turn. My turn. Visiting a farm is a great way to learn. It's an utter sensation. Hey, give the udders a turn. Get it? Udders. It's cool. It's sweet. Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Welcome back to the Children's Corner. And we all know our wonderful, what's that say? Uh, John Lewis. <laughs> John Lewis. And John has taught us many different things. And I guess you all have also seen John Lewis's own show, The Magic Box. It's a wonderful show. Oh, we have a wonderful time on The Magic Box. We not only teach magic tricks for boys and girls, but we encourage them to read books because that's how you learn even more things. 
Well, I have a question, John, because there are probably many children wondering how those of us who are adults decided to be what we are. And certainly, being a magician is a pretty special thing to be. When did you decide to become a magician? You well, know, when I was born, uh, the doctor slapped me in the lab. <laughs> so. <laughs> That was one in the year. <laughs> then when I started school, every teacher uh, 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 sent little notes on my parents, and my parents thought I was going to be an astronaut, because every teacher I ever had who 12th grade wrote, your son is taking up space. And, uh... <laughs> no, they didn't say that. Well, the, well, the truth is, I've always had a sense of humor. And, and, and even, even when it, growing up in South Baltimore, when you were confronted with a fight or flight situation, I made comedy out of it. And pretty soon people didn't pick on me because, well, he's not going to be mad and get upset anyway. He's just going to laugh with us. So we'll pick on somebody who really gets uptight about being yelled at and picked you know, on. And that's, sometimes if we don't argue back, people just don't want to argue. And that's a really important way sometimes for us to remember about when we're angry with somebody or somebody's angry with us. Let's not express our anger, but let's just sort of wait, be patient. And then lots of times you don't get an argument. And then what was your first trick? Uh, first trick I did, actually, uh, I, I, I've always read books because I like humor and comedy. I, I read joke books. I didn't even realize that there was a possibility to do magic and work humor into it. And, 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 and so I read comic books, and so I was always dreaming about the fantastic, and, and, and I read books about comedy and, and jokes. And then I went to college, I took a course called Recreation Leadership. And one of the requirements was that I go to... That's like physical education. Uh, yeah, right. Just like physical education. You know, you go to the gym class and you get to do things. That's what that means. And so uh, the challenge was to bring in some activity that children would be interested in. So I went to this magic shop and got this really cool trick. The trick didn't work, but everybody laughed. And I've been going back to the magic shop ever since, trying to figure out what I did right, and I did wrong. <laughs> Well, I know you have many magic tricks to show us today, mm -hmm, I certainly so do. we would love to see them. All right, well, can we do that when we come right back? That sounds like a good idea, so... We'll <laughs> on the Children's Corner. It's fun every week with you. Bye-bye. We'll see you again on the Children's Corner. I believe and try I can be